Thank you for tuning in and welcome to Aaron Painting. Today I'm painting up Franz the Mutant from the ongoing Dungledorf Kickstarter and uh, a little later in this video we are also going to look at the Kickstarter and how far it has come and stuff like that. But first of all let's get some paint on this guy. Uh, he's been primed with Wraithbone Spray and because it's a resin master I've also washed the model uh, before priming obviously. The model will be in metal once uh, it hits the store. But first of all, I'm gonna take some Dagoth flesh, and this is of course for his visible skin. Next up, some Dark Angel's green, and this is for the tentacle, but not the sucking cups or whatever they're, they're called uh, at the bottom of the, of the underside of the tentacle. Next up, some Vulupus Pink, and this is for the rest of the tentacle. Now, some Blood Angels Red, and this is for half his clothes. Now some Yanton yellow and this is for the other half of his clothing. Next up some snake bite leather and this is for all the leather details. So pretty much everything that's left. Obviously there's still some details missing, but uh, before we get into that, I'm gonna take some uh, Vallejo Earth Texture, Dark Earth, and uh, texture the base with it. And this will take a while to dry, so while it does, let's have a look at the Kickstarter and where it's at this fine Monday. So as you can see, there are now 481 baggers, and yeah, the amount uh, exceeds the original goal with a lot. Um, so let's have a look at what stretch goals are unlocked now. Here we have it. And you'll notice that there is a lot of free stuff if you're an innkeeper bagger. Here we are, the Night Watch, the latest miniature to be, uh, latest miniature to be unlocked, and adding another free uh, extra miniature for Innkeeper Baggers. So that is awesome. I was really hyped that this one unlocked. And yeah, next miniature to unlock is this cool, cool old pirate. So uh, yeah, hopefully we'll reach that too. Uh, I know from Niggy over at King Games that there are more miniatures planned, so uh, yeah, the more the merrier, I'd say. Now that the texture and the base is dried, we can get back to, uh, to painting. And for starters, I'm gonna take some gunmetal from Vallejo and paint in the metallics.
I'm then gonna spice the metallics up a bit with a bit of brassy brass. Next up, a bit of Wraithbone, and this is for his teeth and his one good eye. I'll then take some Skeleton Horde for the teeth to make them look fittingly unhealthy. And a dot of Muddle Color Black in the eye. Now some Nuln Oil and this is for the Silver Metallics and the entirety of the textured base. Then some Agrax Earth Jade for the brass details. The Nuln Oil has finally dried, so uh, now I'll take some Taminato Stone and dry brush the base. After that I'm gonna paint the base rim with model color black and then I'm gonna uh, give him some matte varnish and add some tuft. And there he is, all done in no time at all. Uh, once again what took the longest were waiting for the texture and the null oil to dry. Uh, and I'm really happy with him. I think he uh, he's very old school Carnival of Chaos-ish. Um, not as muted as the original paint scheme by Nana, um, which is uh, really nice too. Um, but yeah, this kind of makes me want to start a whole new Carnival of Chaos warband for more time. Or just uh, make a bunch more uh, mutant cultists for my uh, players to fight in my dungeon crawling RPG. Anyhow, let me know below what you think. Uh, and if you're excited for the ongoing Kickstarter. And uh, till next time, take care and bye bye.